Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Makar Kodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that keep this word in sincerity, also in truth. You know, we're coming into the last days. And, um, you know, it's very important, you know, within us uh, prophesying and making sure that we're being diligent about the work of our Heavenly Father. It's very important that we are um, conscious of about how we treat each other, you know, in the brotherhood, man. You know, it's going to get harder and harder out here. And so the spirit is, uh, um, it, you know, in, in influencing, you know, these various camps of ours to get more and more intact and more and more structured, you know. And with us, within a, a, a you know, a, a, you know, renovation happening within our camps, you know, the spirit, you know, is, is, is going to be more and more harsh, you know. So it's very important. I say all that to say this, you know, it's very important that, you know, that we are, are, are really being mindful about being a brother. You know, certain things that, you know, we were offended about, you know, or certain things that we don't understand in the spirit. You know, it's time to let those things go, you know, and really, really just hone in on being a brother, make sure that we're being on one accord, okay? Because Satan is going to attack the body, He's, he, and he'll use various tactics. And one of the tactics that he uses is, you know, uh, decision, if you will, in the brotherhood, okay? So this is Matthew uh, 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. That's right. So, you know, because it's going to get more and more wicked out here. You know, you're going to have people out there that's going to get more frustrated and, and more willing to quit. And you can't be in that mindset, man. You have to be in the mindset of being a brother and being, um, you know, being, you know, the best person that you can be w within this body, man. You know, one thing that I have learned this year is that your perspective is, isn't everything. You know, you can't push your perspective on other people. And you can't make people think the way that you think, you see. And, and you can't get offended because somebody doesn't, you know, you know, isn't uh, galvanized by your thought process. You see what I'm saying? This thing isn't about, you know, what we perceive as right. This thing is all about what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah determines is right, man. And, you know, and some things ain't going to go your way in this truth. You see, and certain people aren't going to react the way in which you think they should react in this truth, man. You see, but it's up to you as a as a, 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 a leader, you know, in, you know, in, in, in the body, you know, to get in order or to be in order, man. And to really understand that this is a business, so you have to put aside your emotions. You know, this, this thing is a very, uh, you know, personal thing, and it can get personal. But in business, it's up to you to keep this thing as professional as possible, man. You see, this thing ain't about, you know, pushing your perspective on other people. You see? That is one of my favorite scriptures. Philippians 2 and 1, if there be, be therefore any consolation in Mashiach, if any comfort of love, and if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. That's right, being on one accord, man. You see, let's look at that word accord. Let's see what it says. That word accord is right here, and that uh, that word is some susco, some susco, mind of one accord. It says strong definition, co-spirited. That is similar in sentiment. That word sentiment means opinion. You see, like-minded. So this thing isn't about pushing again your 
individual perspective, but it's about having a collecting, a collective, excuse me, understanding of what's right for the body and for the, uh, more importantly, the will of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah, man. You see, so when you're out there on the highways and byways, you're not going to get emotional and scream and shout and, you know, because somebody offend you, you want to talk about them indirectly or, or a scoffer comes up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to hear that that particular day because your girl pissed you off or you had a bad day. You know what I'm saying? At work or eating mice that you've been getting on your nerves all that week. So you ready to lash out somebody? No, you're thinking about what's good for the body. You see what I'm saying? But not good, not 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 good for which your 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 particular temporal predicament, but what's good for you know your brothers out there, man, and and what's advantageous for the will of your how by Shimmy how shy to be pushed. That's what it's all about, man. You see what I'm saying? Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. That's right. So you're not doing anything for vain glory, for empty glory. But in lowliness of mind, that means you're being humble. You're esteeming a brother better than themselves. And how do you do that? By, by, by respecting other people's opinion. By respecting, you know what I'm saying, a brother when he's speaking. Little things, man. Little things. They add up. You see? Common, having common courtesy, looking out for a brother, being empathetic when a brother is going through certain things, man. All that's very important, man. It's very important. You see what I'm saying? Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of other, others. I mean, let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahushua Mashiach, who, being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High. But made himself of no reputation and took up upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in fashion uh, as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, the Most High also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every every name that at that that at that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow on, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Mashiach is Lord to the glory of, of the Most High, the Lord. Wherefore, my brethren, my beloved, excuse me, as, as ye have always obeyed, not also in my presence only, but now much more in my a absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And how do you do that? By following. See, everybody wants to jump to this, this scripture, this verse, excuse me. You got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. How do you do that? By coming under the example of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, when he uh, 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 was here in the flesh, what, what, what was he doing? He was doing the will of his father. You see, he was being a servant. You see, he gave up him li his life for the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. And we have to come in that same stead, man. We have to come in that same stead of being a servant and understanding the bigger picture. Don't get caught up in small things. Don't get caught up in what a brother, another brother is doing wrong, God, y'all. Trust me, they ain't going to do nothing but drive you crazy, man. All you can do is is focus on being a brother and focus on being a servant. Not focus on what a brother brother's doing another brother's doing wrong. You see, you talking down on that brother, and he might bless you with something spiritually, man. You see? Don't focus on what a brother's what, what brothers are doing wrong, man. Hey, hey, at the end of the day, we are all that we have, man. This world doesn't understand this. This world is going to come up against us soon. So now, it's, you know, it's, it's time more than ever to, man, get over things, man. Get over shit. Get over shit and really focus on the will of the Heavenly Father, man. That's what it's all about. All right? So I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking this word. Sincerity.
Ah, c'est une chose, Shalom.